Hey guys, Halloween is right around the corner. And what better way to celebrate Halloween in Pittsburgh than with a Steel City themed costume. This year I'm teaming up with Goodwill to bring you a list of pretty awesome Pittsburgh themed costumes. First up, let's talk about the Steeler. What you need here is a flannel, a pair of overalls, a hard hat, throw in a terrible towel, and don't forget that Yinzer accent. Yin's going down time watching Steeler's play. Pittsburgh Pirate. All you need is a puffy shirt, some belts, some scarves, a bandana, maybe a hat, some cool boots or a nice skirt. Throw in some pirate insignia and a baseball glove and boom, you're a bucko. Pittsburgh Penguin. Put on a suit, maybe a bow tie, maybe something shiny and sparkly to represent the ice. Carry a hockey stick or a fake Stanley Cup. Boom, Pittsburgh Penguin. 1970s. Dancing traffic cop, Vic Sianka. Do you remember him? Maybe your parents do. All you need for this costume is a light blue button down shirt, some dark pants, a cop hat, don't forget the white gloves, and some dance moves. What about Pittsburgh's very own rock and roll legend, Donnie Iris? All you need is a yellow jacket, yellow pair of pants, a bow tie, some thick frame glasses, and boom, you're King Cool. If you want to be Leah and Donnie, all you need is the Donnie Iris costume plus some pink pants, a jean jacket, and a little bit of attitude. We can't talk about Pittsburgh icons without mentioning Mr. Rogers. All you need is a white button down shirt, a bow tie, a sweater, maybe a Halloween themed sock puppet, and your Mr. Rogers. How about Andy Warhol? All you need is the sunglasses, a white wig, turtleneck, leather jacket, throw in a Campbell's soup can, banana, prop it up, oh yeah. You could take some of these ideas a step further and be the sister bridges. Roberto Clemente, wear a pirate's hat. Andy Warhol, do the sunglasses and the white wig. Rachel Carson, put some flowers in your hair. And everybody wears yellow. You have to think about it a little bit, but it's a pretty cool idea. Come on. Add some tape for a road, some toy cars, and a detour sign. Everybody will know you're a Pittsburgh Bridge. Who remembers the Liberty Bridge fire? You could be a construction worker with a little bit of soot on your face, have your partner dress up in gray with some red and orange scarves like they're on fire, and boom, you're the Liberty Bridge fire. Those are my Pittsburgh-themed Halloween costume ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you're looking for more ideas, visit a Goodwill store near you and check out their lookbook. There are tons of ideas in there. Plus, Goodwill has everything you need, new and used, this year for Halloween. They are your Halloween headquarters. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you guys do any of these ideas, please share them with me online. I'd love to see them. Happy haunting!